For my construction clients, one of the features my clients really like is the ability to compare the maps from week to week to show progress. These days, I always capture with RTK and that means the maps beautifully overlay on top of each other. But what if you're just starting out and don't have access to an RTK enabled drone? In those cases, the overlays can be significantly offset and that just doesn't look professional. There are a few ways to solve this using GCPs, but if you don't have that option, then those amazing folks over at WebODM have your back with a new feature called Auto Alignment. Auto Alignment tells the system to line up a new map with a previous map so that you get nice professional results. And to show you what a difference that makes, here's what two maps look like before the Auto Alignment feature, and here's what they look like after. Pretty impressive. So how do we do that? First off, I'm not sure how many people are aware of this, but if you process multiple maps in the same project, you can display each of the maps on top of each other. To do that, use the view map option at the project level instead of at the map level, and then open the layers panel on the right hand side. You'll now see each of the maps in that project shown as a layer, and you can use the check mark to enable or disable them. You can also use this new feature called side by side, which you can enable by selecting the little line with the arrows. And if you do that, you can now swipe to compare, which is a great new feature. Using that, if we look at this example from a capture about five years ago that was not done with RTK, you can see that these two layers don't line up at all. So I'm gonna reprocess these maps. I've already processed the first one and now I'm going to start processing the second map in the same project. After loading the images, you'll see a new drop down that says alignment. By default, it is set to automatic, but I'm going to change it to tell it to specifically align to the previous map. Leaving it automatic here will probably have given the same results, but if you have a lot of maps, then you want to pick two that are visually closest to give the system more to work with when lining things up. Now we just start processing as normal and let the system do its thing. After processing is complete, we can open the maps again as before by clicking on the view map at the project level. And now if we zoom into the same area and use the side by side comparison tool, you can see that everything is now beautifully lined up and looking much more professional. This isn't a replacement for RTK, which comes with a host of other benefits. But if your clients are only using this to compare progress in their project meetings, then this addition gives some real polish to your project. So thanks again to the amazing people over at WebODM. And that's it for another video. If you found this helpful, please like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.